Satnam, I'm Nirvana Singh Khalsa, and it's February 2012. Yogi Bhajan was so prolific and so expansive in his teachings. In, our, in the library of teachings, we have over 8,000 of his lectures. But there's some very strong threads in the teachings that he gave. From so, several of those strong threads, we created Level 2 Teacher Training. And Level 2 Teacher Training is transformational. It's a way of getting you to actually be you using these concentrated parts that Yogi Bhajan talked about in his teachings. We have stress and vitality. You need how to be able to handle your stress and how to remain vital. Lifestyles and life cycles. The yogic path is all about lifestyle and about the changes you go through as you age and mature and go through all the things that you need to in your life. And then how to handle your mind. We have mind and meditation. We have uh, authentic relationships and conscious communication. Really when it comes down to operating successfully in life, it's all about communication. And everything is about the relationships that, that you create. This summer we're going to do uh, an authentic relationships course. And I've been studying the material a little bit and the meditation that we're going to do this month, February, as is one of the first meditations in that course of authentic relationships. In the West here, in the United States, of course, we've got this holiday. It's kind of a hallmark holiday, <laughs> celebrating St. Valentine's, Valentine's Day, when a lot of people start thinking about intimate relationships, you know, and expressing that or exactly desiring or wanting that to happen if they don't have it or just appreciating those intimate relationships they do have with one person or even with a group of people, your favorite, your favorite group or the people that you hang out with. And so this is a really good time to work on this idea of relationship. Now, of course, from the yogic point of view, nothing's outside of you. And in relationship, you know, really it's you create strong relationships with others by first of all having a strong and balanced relationship within your own self. You know, last time you're on an airplane, one of the first things they tell you is put your mask on before you assist somebody else. Well, those things are kind of universal. It's true with you and your relationships as well. We find that sometimes we really want a relationship to happen, you know, and it's something if you're not in a relationship, you want it, or maybe you've been, you know, disappointed in a relationship, you're taking a little time off, but still part of you wants to have relationship. But the real thing is to establish something in yourself first. That's really the, the yogic way of doing things. Don't chase after things. I remember when I was a little kid, I had a dog seemed like a big dog at a time at the time because I was just a little kid but he's actually kind of a small dog he's a cocker spaniel his name was Jet and so whenever there was a squirrel in our yard and this was in the Midwest you know he would be barking at the door because he'd see the squirrel or hear it or sense it somehow they've got all these different senses and we'd let him out and he'd go chasing the squirrel you know and chase it up a tree and he'd be very happy to run as fast as he could barking the whole way, you know, and then bark at it, it was going up the tree, and he felt very accomplished. He was always very proud that he did whatever he was doing. It was probably some instinctual thing. So one time I was out in the yard and a squirrel came by, and a squirrel started running, and the dog was barking, you know, and chasing him, but all of a sudden the squirrel stopped and just went, I'm, just, I'm not moving, you know, and our, my dog didn't know what to do. You know, he kind of looked back at me, didn't know what to do, was looking around because it wasn't the usual thing. The chase wasn't happening. So he just barked some more and then kind of stood back, was a little bit quiet. And then finally the squirrel ran again and he barked. You know, sometimes it's a terrible thing when you catch something that you really don't want. <laughs> you know, when you've been chasing after something. So it's always good from the yogic point of view to allow things to come to you and to establish that relationship with your infinite self so that you can have that, that deep relationship with finite and infinite, with, with your power, with the integrity within your own self, and then allow the relationships to come in your life most naturally. 
So our meditation this time is going to be, it's called uh, Maha Agni uh, Pranayam, Maha Mudra Agni Pranayam, Maha Gyan Agni Pranayam. <laughs> and so Maha means great and Gyan means wisdom. And Agni is fire. This is very interesting. And Pranayam, of course, is, you know, the energy that comes in through Prana. And so it's, a, it's actually a pranayam of purification. It really gets you in that place where you can establish that place with your infinite nature because it really works with the pranic body so that you can get beyond your fear. And with that relationship to the infinite, then you can allow things to come to you. And you can purify yourself through the, the fire, the tapa that's created by the, by the kriya itself. And so join me with this meditation. I've been doing it for, you know, this whole week before we start with this month of February. And so it's really powerful and it's really a lot of fun. So have a great February. Enjoy your relationships. Just be you. Satnam. So, no.